was winning a majority of the exchanges, but when it came to taking stocks, Mr. E had him on that for mm -hmm. sure. Especially in game two when you saw him hit that counter to cover his uh, oh, up yes. B. I mean, what can he even do about that? He needed to up B. Like. <laughs> you, like you have no choice. Yeah, he <laughs> needed to up B. And on top of it, I think he had a bomb in his hand too when he tried to up B a couple Ooh. of those times. And of course, if you got the bomb, um, it, it just makes tethering kind of funky too. So yeah, yeah it just, Mr. E played, they play to each other's strengths pretty well, but Mr. E played to his weaknesses even better. It's, it is unfortunate, too, because you know that Cookie Slayer knew that he was going to stand a majority of the time, uh -huh. and uh, that caused Mr. E to start mixing it up with the get-up attacks. Mm -hmm. The bomb would be right in his face and hit Mr. E, but if you get-up attack, it knocked Young League too far away to punish. So Yeah. Rip. Wow. Anyway, we got uh, Shutan versus Charlie coming up. This is going to be a treat right here, man. Uh, so obviously, for those of us who... For those few of us in the Smash community who don't know who Shutan is, Shutan is few. yeah, very few. And I'm talking like, <laughs> I mean, I can count it on like one three, hand, like literally. three, literally, <laughs> like three people. Um, you know, he is. Uh, you know, I don't really know where all the Olimar are sitting in terms of who's the best and, and whatnot. And that's kind of the great thing about Ultimate right now is that you know you can't really determine somebody's worth on the sticks by the rank anymore because everybody is yeah. just so damn nasty in this game. Like you know, Myron, the Buzz, Shutan. I don't want to play any of these guys in bracket. So with this oh, in mind, no. <laughs> yeah. So with this in mind, Shutan's certainly one of the best Pikmin of Olimar uh, in the world right now. I, I can't say that he was the best in Smash Four. Definitely, he was the right. best in Smash Four, Smash Ultimate. Uh, there's a lot we'll to be see. determined right, right. now. We we'll took see. that time. We're yeah. early on. And Charlie the King on the other side, no slouch at all. Definitely one of the top foxes out here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm definitely ready to see what he can do versus Olimar. This is a very uh, interesting matchup, actually. I feel like you mostly see Wolf out here. Wolf versus Olimar. But uh, but Fox? We'll have to find out. Yeah, there's going to be um, there's gonna be a lot of pairing. Yes, <laughs> there I, better I can, be. I can, only, I can already hear it, you know. Uh, Fox does really well, obviously, at, at punishing off the of parries, especially for some of those more linear approaches, which mm -hmm. is one aspect that I think really helps um, Olimar. Is that he has a really strong ground game, so he has a lot of different ways to try to approach. And then, of course, just even looking back at Frostbite, I've seen what Olimar can do off a of parry. All right, you yeah. get up close and personal, and he has that purple Pikmin on deck, and he parries you, you're going to get hit with a smash attack for re. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and then uh, as we see with uh, most of the Foxes, they will immediately just come in at you, maybe just short hop in your face, land, and immediately up smash yep. or hit you with that Nair. And, of course, you know that confirms an up smash as well. So if Shutan can avoid that, it should be decently okay. Yep. And honestly, yeah, Shutan, like you said, he is a great player with parrying. So you got to be careful if you're going to go for a swing like that on his shield. Yeah, I think it just it's something that, you know, not every character needs to implement into their, uh, um, in, into their gameplay this early in, into Smash Ultimate, but I think for Pikmin and Olimar, it certainly uh, goes the distance for him, only because sometimes Olimar can feel like he's getting overwhelmed, uh -huh. you know, even though he does have some pretty, pretty quick buttons. There are oh, characters well, like Wolf. he has Wolf. a Wolf as well. My, yep. oh, excuse me. That's I don't right. know what I'm talking about, clearly. There's characters like Wolf and, and Fox who can just overwhelm me with Nair. So if you can read it and parry it, man, you can you can keep these animals off of you. Yeah, very true. And uh, especially when it comes to somebody like Shutan, if he parries you, you're eating 60. Oh, free. You're eating for 60. Free. <laughs> All day. Free. All right, here we go. Starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2, the brand new Smashville. What even is that stage anymore? I don't know. I never <laughs> heard of it. Never heard of it. All, all I know is PS. And I definitely like that he is going to go Wolf because Wolf has so many options to get those Pikmin off him. As you saw with that Fort Tilly, he has a fair. He's got Nair, oh like anything. God. Man, Wolf is such a, just a very interesting character, man, because even as he's covered in Pikmin, he can still do things like Short <laughs> yeah. Hop Nair while he's approaching with Short Hop Nair, and he can still keep the damage going. Good, almost scoop right there off the legend stage. I like the situational awareness. I like the positioning just a little early on the trigger. Right, and now he's going to have to get back to stage. Carefully, Shutan kind of get that uh, down air right there, but did not get it. Luckily for him, going to go for the full range blaster. I do like that. Just back up a little bit, force him to approach. Okay. And a blaster's in the. Oh, okay, we got up smashes. Boy, he can't just jump above me. Absolutely not. Oh. It, it seemed like, oh, wow. Look at him. He's looking at the, look at the dance. Feeling okay. himself. Just just the smidge. I mean, how could you not be? I mean, you're oh. playing against Shutan. You were doing pretty good <laughs> until he caught you slipping. Right, and now look at this even game right here. The, that's kind of been the name of the game, though, honestly. Both of them have been right in each other's throats. And see, because, you know, Pikmin and Almar, they're so small, a lot of times they get up on you and they're pressing buttons, and it's really hard to pinpoint what, what it is they're doing. And just the moment before he got up smashed, it looked like he went for, like, short hop, maybe cross the back here to try to scoop him up, but he ended up getting himself scooped there with the up smash. And, you know, Olimar's a pretty pretty light guy. You know, you can't be oh, trading yeah. blow for blow with Wolf, all right? Yeah, you can't allow yourself to take too many hits with this character, man. Yeah. All right, great fair right there. And that's something I love about what Charlie's doing is he's not really worried about getting the Pikmin off him. He's trying to get hits, and that just so happens to kill the Pikmin. That's right. He's just taking it for what it is right there, but he's taking one Ooh. to the face. Yeah. The Pikmin management from shoe time. Yeah, he was without a jump, too, so, I mean, he could not afford to air dodge or anything like that out there. 
Okay, there it is. Like I talked about before, watch your approaches here versus, uh, you know, Olimar. Make sure whatever approach you're going for, you go for something, uh, you know, maybe that doesn't put you in, in the awkward position. Go for what works. Don't try to mix things up because, it, like, as you see right there, the short hop near into the dash attack, he could have kept that combo going, but he knew the danger of pressing buttons here versus Olimar. Yeah, very true. All right, Ford's going to take over stage control and try to get this ledge trap here. Wanted the down smash, but get up attack. Brilliant by Shuton. Yes. Okay, Ooh. turn around for smash. Let's, oh, and then try to catch him up underneath the platform. He's sharking right there. Uh-oh, man. He's trapping him all over the place. Going for that up B onto the stage. I love the mix-up right there. You can't always afford to only go to ledge. Ooh. Wow, chasing him with that up smash. Okay. Oh, okay. Appreciate. I appreciate that. Okay, he's looking for the up tilt. Very quick option. Very strong option as well, too. But watch yourself at the legend stage versus Wolf. You don't want to get hit with that side special. Right, and it actually did hit over the tech. Boy, you're not killing me yet. Okay, nice side B and oh, up tilt. Charlie is a king indeed. Man, you got to make that count. You do a tilt or a tech, don't just immediately lose, man. Take that stock with you and maybe bring it back. That was some split second. Decision making right there met by some even a better decision making right there from Shuton yeah. the Porter to close it out. But I really got to say, man, Charlie the King, the highlight of that match was that damn stage tech. That was some good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, when you do something like that, you feel like they might reverse it right here. Yeah. Maybe I'm at 138. Let's see what I can do. But Shuton going to swing that forward air immediately, take the stock and the game. That's right, man. All right. So game number one was obviously played on Pokemon Stadium. Wow. I don't know if, if you guys in the chat can hear the uh, the crowd behind us, but they are just – there's a lot of energy flowing through this room. I know SoCal oh, yeah. kind of has the rep for not being an explosive region or not being, like, you know, a very rowdy region, but I don't I don't believe that. When you get Las Vegas and when you get SoCal in the same room together, okay, oh, man. It's, it's about to go down in here. Yesterday, Light actually asked Vegas to cheer for him, and it was at least 30 people all screaming his name, man. Wow. It was insane. But here we go for game two. Gonna stay characters, but we're gonna swap on over to Smashville. That's the stage we're talking about, man. Here it is. Still never heard of this stage before. <laughs> all, all I know is Pokemon Stadium. Fair, very fair. <laughs> all right, so Shuton gonna start off with a quick 15%, and you know, he always does. You can just throw those Pikmin out there, low committal, uh, and just get that 3%. Yes, you know, and when I see Wolves play at this level, there's there's two type of Wolves. There's the ones that are gonna try to figure out what, uh, ways to get in, and then there's gonna be the ones that are very blaster heavy. And I, I see blaster being a really good tool in terms of just combating Pikmin. Yeah, but I'd say Charlie, definitely one of those players who's going to come right at you, like you said, yeah. and just get all this percent, 102 to 28 right now. He just needs to find the stock, because Shuton will bring it right back if you let him. Okay, playing with his back to the corner right there. Being able to, uh, using his forward air, excuse me, being able to use his forward air to stop that back air coming out there from my man Charlie the King right now. But Charlie the King still keeping Shuton off stage, and I love that stall right there with the up special. Yeah, and he was throwing those down tilts just to kind of throw Shuton off, like, oh, you don't know what I'm going to go for. And then he did a grab, very uh -oh. smart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How was he not able to get punished right there? Ah! Oh, my goodness, and turning a bad situation to a good one, Shuton going up a stock. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you let Shuton, he will turn it right around on you. And that was so unfortunate, too, because that side B usually going to stop people from being able to spike you like that. Uh, but the disjointed Pikmin, he'll reach. Yes, absolutely. Okay, dancing around, really utilizing, <laughs> utilizing excuse me, that platform dashes right in. He came from all the way across the stage. Literally, dash tag. And coast to coast, man. With that. <laughs> what is this character? Yeah, man, and look at him suddenly in the lead here. Okay, not by much percent though. Oh, nice stuff. Okay, the very pr uh, pristine, a spot dodge in place. Couldn't quite get anything out of it though with the up smash. Uh oh, oh, okay, you saw Shuton floating there. He might have gone for that down air, but not gonna be able to space it right. Couple Ooh. of down airs into an up air. Okay, getting fancy on him right here. My Dash man Shuton. Yeah, Shuton definitely pulling all the strings here in this match. Oh, a little bit too far away with that one though. Gonna get him punished and he knocked off the side of the stage. Ah, oh, didn't get the opportunity to tech it this time. He's going to die off the left side. Mm -hmm. You know what, though? The up smash just runs right up, man. Just some randy stuff sometimes. You know, when you got that invincibility off the angel platform, right. that, that's your time to just go nuts. Yeah, and you absolutely should. Like you said, oh, too bad he had no Pikmin right there. Only the purple one in his hands, but he wasn't able to get the punish off of uh, yeah. the up smash. Okay, the nair pressure at the ledge of the stage. Very strong move, obviously. Yeah. It, can, it can kill at uh, higher percents, and obviously it can extend it to combo to some of these lower percents. And even if it doesn't connect um, with the right hitbox, it at least keeps him off stage right. in both directions. But so does the back throw right there. Charlie the King bringing this thing back. Only 23% online, too. Absolutely. If he can work his way in this, man, without taking too much, but already at 66, then make that 84, and you're trapped oh. on the stage at 90. Oh, oh not going to get spiked, but he's still in this. Oh, my God. I was afraid for him. Every hair on my body stood up <laughs> right. right there. I was shook. It's like the, 
the man was at 28. We said it, and then he was suddenly at 90 and off stage. That's the beauty of Shuton. The dare right through the ledge of the stage. Charlie really struggling here. Oh my goodness, and I love how he's facing that though. So he's not going in the exact angle that Shuton thinks he's going to go every time. And a good side B2 to mix it up. And now 51 to 150. Oh! <laughs> Those Pikmin reach so far, man. man. Nobody reaches like Olimar. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about Lucina got reached. Look at them Pikmin. They jump for it. Man, get you some homies like the Pikmin, for okay? For real. Willing to die for their boy. Yeah, twirling around him in that windscreen, too. Let's go, let's go. Shoot on up 2-0 right now. But Charlie the King keeping every single game incredibly close. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you know, just I really got to give it to Charlie the King. You know, whether he is struggling to get back onto the legend stage or he's playing really good from it, his understanding right. of how to, how to uh, navigate Wolf, especially in the corner, is something that's really helping him out. In the beginning of the game, obviously, he had the lead. It wasn't for very long. But he yeah. was using things like back here, obviously, just right at the corner of the stage to keep Shutan off. Or, or when he was on the left side of the stage, too, uh, Shutan was struggling to come back, and he was using things like short hop Nair. Whether it was the right hitbox or it was the soft, whatever, whatever the hitbox that Nair has, it was enough to keep him at bay. But five seconds into this match, man, and 41% has That's already been saying, put on. That's what I'm saying, man. As soon as he gets one hit on you, you're eating like 40 to 60% like ridiculous. every single time. And look at him already at 72 and 0% only on Shutan. He's not going to get zero to death, though. The Charlie the King, man, yes. he's going to get in this. Uh oh Okay, well, hold on a sec. Okay, okay. <laughs> he, he, put, he put some damage on. I was, yeah. I was afraid for a second. That's what I'm talking about. All right, the back air going to come in, but Charlie the King, he knows how to mix it up to be able to get on the Ooh. stage. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. oh my God! Can you talk about staring danger in the face right there? Now, see, most people, most people on the sticks, they'd be like, "All right, Wolf is going to side B. Better not f with this." Yeah. Nah, man. She times like, I want all parts of that. <laughs> yeah, give me every bit of it because he knows he's got space. Like, if anything, the side B is going to kill his Pikmin. Oh no! I'll pluck another one. That's right. That's so rude. Man. That's worse than Mario jumping off Yoshi, man. Come man, on. It's it's ridiculous. All right, okay. get back on the stage here. Oh, the down smash reaches so far. Talking about reach once again. That's right, yeah. He can definitely get his extends on, too, from the ledge of the stage. You have to watch yourself. A lot of people, you know, they forget about, you know, the down smash because they get so caught up in, like, the down tilt. Right. Or sometimes the dash tackle, uh, depending on which way you get up off the ledge. But the down smash, very, very strong option, especially for sweeping recoveries that don't have hitboxes on them like all of ours. Yeah, and you saw him take that stock, man. It was only 56% on him. Damn, Charlie does uh, not give up. That little quick combo, too, getting 36% in here. Oh, oh, okay. Hits him with the yeet. Now, see, I think there a moment ago he used the uh, the, the callback uh, function uh, to, to bring his Pikmin back to him. I think he used that as like a combo breaker there. Oh, right, the whistle armor. Yeah, yeah. very smart because you cannot take any knockback when you do that. Yeah, huh? Incredibly intelligent. But again, like I said, Charlie does not give up, and that's exactly what he should do. Look how close it is. If he could just get this stock right here in the ledge guard. That's right. Okay, he's not going to be able to get it at that moment, but. Being relentless, uses the down smash to get rid of the yellow Pikmin once more. There's another four to. I see, I'm loving his options in terms of putting on percent, but he's really struggling here to find this KO option here. That's the thing. That's been the whole theme of the set. He can get all this percent in here, but he's not taking those stocks before Shuton does, and yes. that's what's getting him uh, these losses. Uh oh. Uh -oh, up smash to the platform. He loves he loves to shark from up underneath. Right, and you saw him right there try to get that full stage dash attack that he got before, but Shutan gonna just drop down with the back air. Uh-huh. And there's been a few times too where he's been covered in Pikmin where it kind of felt like he had the read for the right option um, in terms of taking the stock, but because, you know, when you have the Pikmin on you, sometimes it right. messes up. Yeah, like, you know, it, it yeah. takes a little bit longer, so yeah. it's kind of screwing up his timing here in this. Yeah, that Pikmin was on him there too, and not only does it mess you up, but if you're taking a lot of percent every time it hits you. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, trapped off the side, but he was oh. able to get back on. Shutan was not in position to edge guard. Luckily for Charlie. Let's see okay. what he can make happen, man. Tries to jump off the platform, looking for an arrow. This is a deadly combination of Pikmin here that Shutan has. He has two purples uh -oh. and a blue. You get grabbed, that might be it. Yeah, man, when we see this, it almost looks like he has three purples, but that down air is going to be able to take it. 3-0 for Shutan, but... I, I don't know. Yeah, it does feel like on Charlie's last stock is where he falls behind the most. But the first two stocks, he keeps it so close, man. He definitely yes. could have pulled that out. Yes, yes. And it's hard because...